That's today's meal. Waldorf salad, cauliflower, broccoli, and some tomatoes to put on the garlic toast. And that's my steps today. Very I don't know if you can read looking, it. Eh? But that's a lot of steps. And I'm not done yet. I, um, I still have to heave whole laundry up and down the stairs and put it, hang it up on the line once I get done this. So, and I'm already tired. I guess it's better than doing it by hand. I don't know, we'll what do see. you think? Yeah. Hanging it up on the line is not fun. Yeah. But we don't have a working dryer, so for a, quite a while we didn't have a... We have a working dryer. We, in fact, have two working dryers. Okay. Now we have a washing machine that we're using, whereas we were washing by hand. That is the difference. But we could dry it with okay. the machine. But um, I would rather you be sterilized right now. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can handle doing it. Mm -hmm. If not, well, there's the dryer. You can dry mm -hmm. it. So where's the second one? Oh, it's at my place. Does that actually work? Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, it doesn't work with the wiring that I've got. Yes, it does. Okay, how about that? Because that's an apartment size dryer. I've had that dryer since huh? 25 years. Okay. So it doesn't need the uh, better no. dryer? You just have to put in less laundry in it. Mm -hmm. You can only dry like two pairs of pants and a couple mm -hmm. shirts and stuff because okay. it won't fit more. Yeah. Now, the one here. You got to keep it on the same setting because otherwise it won't work. Yes. If you monkey with the settings, then it doesn't. If the heat turns off on it. Because I've tried to use it and it, it doesn't it. work. Yeah. And I didn't know about the monkey. Yeah. Okay. But the heat always turns back on again, so I don't really care that much. Yeah. Anyway, macaroni and cheese. Not very fancy, but I covered half the plate with Waldorf salad, which is pretty healthy. Yeah. Um, James Bro drank his broccoli juice. Not finished, but working on it. Paris likes macaroni and cheese. Normally, the dogs would get macaroni and cheese when I cook it, but I don't know. This is that um, cauliflower, the macaroni and cheese with cauliflower inside of it. So it might have a certain degree of I don't know. health. My guess is it's just cauliflower pulp. You know, there's loads of different things you can do with pulp. Yep. And one of the things is put it in pasta. It works out really well in there mm -hmm. if you're making pasta. Paris, yeah. you shouldn't have snuck outside. But you, you know. <laughs> Are you giving her macaroni? Well, I've got a soft spot in my heart for Paris. She's a good dog. She helped nurse me in a certain way through yeah. the bad stages of this cancer. Yeah. At least the bad stages up to this point in time. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. We stayed the worst stage for a long, long time. It wasn't pleasant. But I was thinking of the macaroni. I, I offered James a couple different um, options for dinner, and this mm -hmm. is what he chose. No, pizza was the other option. Otherwise, I would have, all other things being equal, I would have picked up a. Yeah, but you've had, had a lot, a lot of pizza, pizza lately. Because we were given a lot of cauliflower, which I'm very grateful for. 
so we ate a lot of oh, got or, I made a lot of cauliflower crust pizza. Oh sorry but but I was thinking of the macaroni anyway because I was thinking of the broccoli pulp and ways that mothers desperately try to get uh, vegetables into their children. I know I would not eat broccoli when I was little. There was no way, no way that I was going to go anywhere near broccoli. And that was raw cooked whatever. And I would eat cauliflower, but only raw. I would never eat it cooked. Whereas I preferred it cooked. Mm -hmm. I if did somebody tried giving me cauliflower crust pizza, I bet you I would have eaten that. And a lot of people will try to make um, kind of maca broca cheese casserole for their kids. And um, I mean, they'll uh, spend a lot of money on cheese so that they can make a, an authentic baked macaroni and cheese with broccoli in it for their kids to try to get them to eat broccoli. Well, the pulp isn't nearly as flavorful as the regular broccoli, so you might want to try putting that in instead. So that's what I was thinking of when I saw the macaroni. I was like, oh yeah, that's one of those things that people do all the time. They do the macaroni broccoli casserole thing. And there's still no way I would have eaten that when I was little. Even with all the cheese, I would have been like, no. Broccoli tastes too strong. Yeah, it's basically that with me. Although, yeah. with uh, when I was little, this is in Africa, so it was before I turned five. Probably when I was four. I don't have many memories when I was three or early. Yeah. But I love tomatoes. I love the taste, but it was just too bitter for me, it's too uh, acidic for me. Yeah. So my mom would put a layer, I mean a layer, not a sprinkling of sugar. Yeah. She'd have a tomato mm -hmm. and then she'd put a layer of sugar on top of it. And I was like, wow, I love tomatoes. <laughs> but it's just too strong. Mm. Yeah. But most, uh, well, that's not really a veggie, but most veggies were just too strong and bad taste, too. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stand cabbage cooked or, yeah. or uh, raw. I could eat it like in a salad. Mm. Raw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right, I could too. It was kind of like minced up. Yeah. Um I don't know if we ever had broccoli. I've never confronted with it. Mm. As an adult I've always liked broccoli. Mm. Or broccoli. However you want to call it. I call it like a kid broccoli. <laughs> um I did like I didn't like cabbage, but I like Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that is. I think yeah, it's because my mom would put. Uh, yeah, I think it's because she'd put. Uh, I think she put some cream, uh, some cheese cream, on it. You know, like a cream of cheese, melted cheese on it. The insects just love my Waldorf salad. They're going after Every yours, time. but not after mine. I think it's the dressing. They love getting stuck in it. Oh, that's right. Because they start swimming around. I, like, oh, I didn't go up for the dressing. Mm -hmm. There's some. Oh, here's here's a few pieces of macaroni hanging around for Paris. I was gonna say there's no more macaroni left, but I love Paris so much. Mm -hmm. I've gotta. I just gotta feed her. She's sneezing out here with the cold. She's gotten to the point she's blind and she doesn't see how far away the floor is when she sneezes. So, mm -hmm. so often she'll just bang her head, yeah. her head or what, muzzle, whatever. It's uh, worrisome. I don't know how many IQ points she's lost, but 
She might have a lower IQ than Jason Kenney now. Anyway, I'd like you to see. To talk? I was, a, a, you know, like I want to talk. Odina Hinshaw and Vera Yu. I want to talk about them. Mm-hmm. Now they were on uh, Shandrow and Kenny weren't uh, on the airwaves this afternoon, starting 3:30 or whenever it was. I want to talk about these two sleaze buckets, Yu and it's just something to do with AHS, right? You. You people have whored yourself out to the conservative party. I don't like using strong words like that, but that's what you've done. You've whored yourself out. You you are absolute slime buckets. You know totally well that it's like someone was saying on CBC the other day. They were quoting someone else. There was a professor or something like that saying, when politics and science mix, what do you get? Politics. That's what you flunkies have done. <laughs> yep, very good formula. That's what we're getting from these stupid, stupid, sleazy, slimy individuals. Vera, you you know better. Dina Hinshaw, you know better. And you know, I was being nice when I was saying they should be prosecuted for manslaughter. No, when you, when you know people mm-hmm. are going to die it's murder mm-hmm. it, is. it is murder you've committed murder your multiple murders your serial killers you slime buckets you're doing it I mean it Jason Kenny might might be able to get away with manslaughter cuz he's so dumb yeah, yeah, he's pretty but, dumb, but he knows what's going on. He's doing this to keep his party mm-hmm. uh, together and stuff like that. It's uh, a- it's absolute murder in his case, too. Murderers, criminals. Now, Justin Trudeau, I think it's manslaughter with him. He's, he's that stupid. But, I, you know, I'm willing to hear... Well, I'm not going to... I, I wouldn't be arguing in his defense, you know. If someone wants to argue differently, uh, uh, you know, and say it's murder, I'm not going to... You know, like if someone says he's innocent, I'm going, no, he's ignorant. Yeah, there's a difference. Oh, Paris, you're so cute, but guess what? I've run out of macaroni. Oh no, here's one last piece for, for Paris. Here we go, Paris. Are you ready? Yeah, she's ready for that macaroni. So we're not going to. It might be an advertisement for it's a, It's horrible macaroni, really. You yeah. prepared it nicely, but. Uh, no, it's. Well, mixing it with the broccoli, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. You made the overall dish healthy, but. Uh, we're, we're not, I mean, we can make a, a advertisement. It's, no, it's a big shouldn't. company, but it always, I used to like their, uh, their slices. You know, when I was a kid, mm-hmm. you make a sandwich out of it. Just, a kid can make a sandwich out of it. I mean, I could, you know. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, like as an adult, I'm realizing that doesn't really taste like cheese. All their <laughs> cheese products are that way. Where's the cheese coming to this? They've got some sort of orangey yellow coloring in here. It's, you know, classic food coloring. Where are you, where are you as poor as we were? We, like we used to get butter without the, or margarine or whatever without the coloring. Mm. You'd have this little, little uh, cup or something like that that had the coloring in and you'd mix it in. Something like that. Yeah, we were poor. <laughs> you guys were poor too, you mm-hmm. know. It's just maybe a different generation or half generation or something like that. Yeah, I used to have patches on my pants. I was the only kid, only kid in my grade that had, or at least in my class that had patches on my pants, on the knees of my pants. I had an older brother. I still love him. Fairly uncoordinated. And uh, they say he's, he, along with my dad, had eyes that didn't match up. 
And my brother was always falling down. And I counted myself lucky when I, when I inherited pants. My older brother I inherited pants, and all my pants were inherited. And this is up into junior high, grade seven. I was lucky when he was clumsy enough to have fallen down and ripped up both knees. Because then there was a certain degree of symmetry involved. I disliked it when when uh, it was only one catch. I mean, it, it really looked like the Oakville country. Whereas when, uh, when it was both, it looked all, almost as though it was designed, you know, for the smoke. Bit. A patch sort of thing. Anyway, Paris, you're clawing away on my legs and my legs don't heal, girl. But my immune system is low. You shouldn't scratch my legs. Anyway. They were talking, they were saying it's five pages of regulations or something like that for the reclosing. Mm -hmm. Not really closing, you know, they, they leave the door open, you know, mm -hmm. for people who want to be the slime puckets they are. The people on the right wing of uh, the conservative party. real conservatives would kind of care about other people, you know? They'd be careful in their actions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to use a favorite words of George Bush Sr., prudent. They'd be prudent. decades since I've had hair that long. So you're going to review? Okay. So I did this before. Yeah, you did that. Adventures of Tutankhamun. Or Tutankhamun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It kind of comes recommended for kids. Like checking it out of a library. From a library that has books. Our library is kind of... Uh, <laughs> the root of library is book. <laughs> But uh, here it's, it's uh, funny. <laughs> I'm like, not a fool. Um, yeah. Um, it's been common to market. Um, don't do it. Market uh, things with uh, with uh, white space with a lot of white space. And so you have a yeah, picture. Yeah. You have some a little bit of writing. You know, because people don't want to have to read. No. <laughs> But, I mean, th so that's what they've done with libraries now. It's mostly open space. White space. Yeah. <laughs> that's people good. People don't want to read. No. But, you know what? That's not the point of a library. No. No, if you they want to go, they people can hang around a mall. Malls are out of style. You know? Yeah. They can go hang out on the uh, out virtual the mall, mall uh, Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you, if you are a library, you should be trying to attract people who want to read. That's yeah. the point. Mm -hmm. It's not a not a social club. Mm -mm. Well, the funny thing is, you know, so many people nowadays are using the library regularly are uh, on the computers and they're presumably on Facebook or something like that. They should be told, go home. To do that. Well, I don't know. They should have a separate place for a totally separate building yeah, for Yeah, for stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I go and, well, I don't know if I'll go back again until they get COVID under control, but, because it's a gong show there. I feel bad for the security guards. Oh, at the library? Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I, I thought you were talking about getting COVID under control. No, That's no. not a gong show. That starts with SH and ends with T kind yeah. of show. Yeah. We don't like working blue or whatever, but every so occasionally. But yeah, the, like the people at the, you know, the one woman that I like very much. Um, well, there's a couple there. There or three. are, yeah. yes. Most of, the, quite a few, actually. most of the people so working down at the lower down. levels of the library, <laughs> yeah. I swear by and not at. Yeah. It's when you work up yeah. into the upper echelons. Yeah. I'm not a flat earther. It's the it's the people who are who just have management offices and yeah. they don't do any sort of public. They don't have to service, deal with the reality. Really, you know? yeah. Mm. They're not out with the public. Mm. Um, those people I don't don't care for, but. Well, they were the ones who turned the library to a large extent in a halfway house. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And yeah. a supervised... It's a drop-in center. An like unsupervised the, overconsumption site. The homeless people, you know, they go from the... They get out of the shelter, and they go to the library, and then they go to the soup kitchen at noon. I mean, you can see. because You can see that this is a soup kitchen crowd because they're... That's when, if you want to go to the public library, that's the safest time. Is when is the noon, noon time? Hour. Yeah. Clear up. Yeah, because that's when they're they'd be getting served their food. Mm-hmm. So anyway, it's amazing though how they don't want to wear their mask. They will have it down, and they're the woman that I whose name starts with a an A. Yeah. You're lovely and wonderful. Um, she, she'll constantly be going around. You have to have your mask on, you know. Yeah. And why is she having to do that? That's you know? your security guard and, thing. Yeah, and the security guards will do it too. But and I the mean, security guard should one, be empowered. He's, he's wonderful. He's a larger man. Mm-hmm. Always friendly to me. He's a good guy. He's I've only a, seen he's him a good once. Person. But I've only been and in the library once. He's always in the last you know, 19 months. Yeah. But I saw him recently. Mm-hmm. He's great. He's a anyway, good guy. he'll tell people to put their mask on. He'll keep coming through, but sometimes he misses it. You know, so if they're he should be empowered. What's your name? Yep. You got your mask down. You might have forgotten. Catch him again. The same session. Yep. You're out. Hard. Exactly. You're out. Mm-hmm. Because you are. Now you're just risking your own life, mm-hmm. but you're risking. Theoretically, everyone's life around mm-hmm. the world because this stuff spreads around yeah. the world. And well, I don't want that security guard. Um, I don't want that woman in the customer service desk um, that I mentioned to get sick with COVID. I don't want them exposed. They're lovely people. Yeah. How about people, you know, one of the things, you know, that I, you know, what's happening? So many people going, oh, it's just a bunch of old clocks dying. It's not. It's just a bunch of old people who uh, have got compromised immune systems. Who cares about them? Not me. Here's the thing. My granddad, I mentioned it before, I'm going to mention it again, and maybe again and again and again. You really like this Waldorf salad, eh? No. She wants well, the more macaroni's macaroni. all gone, girly. Yeah, it's all gone. Here, go. Come to your bed now. I'll lift you up here. There we go. All right, so this is Paris here. Her middle name is France. Paris, but France. But honestly, like, apparently, a lot of, um, like, the majority of the homeless people who go to the homeless shelters, they're not vaccinated. And it's like, Shouldn't it be necessary for them to be vaccinated before they're let into the homeless shelter? Honestly. Close quarters? Yeah. And um, maybe like, not you the... should need a vaccine visa to get into there. Honestly. Yeah. So it, 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 Pauline's come up with a new term. Yeah. Vaccine, vaccine visa. visa. Which means it's it's got nice, it's catchy, it's alliterative. Mm-hmm. Uh, what it is. Is is it's it's not a passport to be free and wild. 
No, it's a it's pass. So you can it's, work. it's it's so you could. It's a required and so you're thing, safe when you're but in your you've job. You've got to do the masking, the social yeah. distancing, uh, the washing the hands, and all this sort of stuff. You know, and if you're around someone who's uh, had this stuff, you've got to do the uh, quarant. It should be quarantining, but it's uh, self isolation, which for a lot of people is. Hey, I'm just gonna. I'm getting out there and uh, spreading the news and spreading my anyway, views. Anyway, what I was going to say is that you should clue in if the majority of people who are going to the homeless shelter aren't wanting to get vaccinated. They're not nice people. The, ma the majority, the majority of them yeah. are not nice people. They're aggressive and they... They don't care really that much if they get sick. They want to take you down with them. They want to try to kill as many people off as they can. They don't care about other people. They barely care about themselves. In the United States, I don't care. Okay, you won't take no away. There you go. You had your chance for your 15 minutes for fame. And you only had something like 15 seconds. What would Andy Warhol think? Or the people who wrote his uh, books. Apparently he's not the one who came up with uh, a oh, lot really? of his little maxims. I <laughs> no. didn't know that. Right. It's part of the factory, right? Yeah. He had that factory going and, mm -hmm. you know, he was putting out Andy Warhol movies, but he's not the one who directed them, mm -hmm. know, he scripted them, anything like that. He claimed to have produced uh, Velvet Underground's first album. Mm. You know? I think it was just uh, eponymously titled. Was it just called The Velvet Underground? Something like that. But uh, I don't think he would have known how to produce much of anything, you know? Particularly with music. So, but if those people hadn't worked under his umbrella, would they have had fame on their own? Maybe Lou Reed. Mm. I don't know about the guy who used to direct his movies. What was his name? Morrissey or something like that? I can't remember. Who knows about Hollywood along uh, some of the folks that used to act in those movies? I think it attracted a lot of people who were kind of on a, in a death spiral. So Some of them were homicidal more than suicidal. The woman who tried to kill Andy Warhol, I think it was in the summer of 69. Valerie Solana. Hmm. You're done in one minute. Wrap up whatever you're going to wrap up. Right. In touch. What do we got here? We'll talk about something. This one, I guess, okay. that you bought. 92. Yeah. About 17. It was somewhere around the 20 year anniversary of something. Swamp thing is an environmental activist of sorts. Mm -hmm. I like the red eyes. And, uh, so he would have, they would have started the thing off in the early 70s when the environment was uh, becoming a bit of an issue and uh, it's it was actually pretty good you know got the story all wrapped up a little bit of Bridget Fonda and Jennifer Jason Lee did you ever see Jennifer Jason Lee back in the day I can remember Bridget I Fonda that. single white female mm -hmm. I forgot mm -hmm. anyway uh, Swamp Thing. This one's uh, pretty good. It's from Hawaii. Oh, it probably collectors. It's almost like uh, 30 years old, generation ago. So, 